Hey, Phantom Maniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are opening up the final wave of Mattel's Masters of the WWE Universe. Three figures. Uh, one got pulled from the line at the last minute. I cannot remember off the top of my head who it was. It might have been Braun Strowman. Uh, it was somebody that got let go uh, just in time for them to be able to pull their figure from coming out. So we have got a new version of Rey Mysterio, China, and Stone Cold Steve Austin in his first single-carded release. He was originally included with the Snake Mountain ring with a Hulk Hogan figure. Uh, but now we've got a single carded Stone Cold, which is a completely different figure, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, let's get going. This has been a fun line. I had not planned to collect it, and I just couldn't help myself when I saw them on the pegs, which happens to me a lot. If you've been following Needless Things for any amount of time now, the decade plus that it's been around, you know, never believe me when I say, I'm not going to collect that. Uh, so we have here Rey Mysterio, Heroic High Flyer, and a completely different look from the first uh, Rey Mysterio Masters of WWE Universe figure. In the back of the card, the ultimate underdog from the 619 District of WWE Turnia taps into his ultimate form to finally rid the planet of evil and bring peace to the Buyaka tribe. Of course, we show his uh, wings, his posing, and we've got the cross cell for the other two figures in the line, or in the final wave, rather. Uh, looks great, love the packaging. This is this has turned out to be a line that it's been a lot of fun to collect. I have rarely, there were like two waves that I was able to find easily at retail. Other than that, I think my wife has found most of the figures. Whoa. Not even a mini comic for the last wave. Just uh, just a bio. That's kind of disappointing. Those mini comics were a lot, of, a lot of the fun of this line. All right, let's see what we've got here with old silver, red, and blue ray. You know, I'm not exactly sure what look this is replicating. Uh, the first ray that came out was a look that he had in ECW. Uh, and then. Shortly after that figure came out, he wore gear that looked like that in WWE. And uh, this, you know, I'm sure it's classic Rey Mysterio gear of some kind, uh, but it's not super familiar to me. But the silver looks really nice. Uh, it's kind of a metallic-looking silver. Like, not that swirly metallic that we get nowadays. Just a nice metallic silver. Looks cool. It's not just gray. Uh, he's got his blue armbands that look great. Try and get those in place a little bit better. There we go. And uh, that mask, that head sculpt, you know, this is all sculpted. This this line was executed, I would say, pretty much perfectly. I don't think they could have done much better than what they did. And, of course, you've got the removable parts on these guys, uh, which is a lot of the appeal of the line for me was in be, being able to switch parts with Masters of the Universe Origins. So... That's a lot of fun, too. And the upcoming, I think it's called Superstars line that's replacing this line, uh, uses the same construction. Because why wouldn't you? You have it made. All right. Let's see what we got here. We've got his wings and his jet pack. Just like uh, the inspiration for this look, Stratos from Masters of the Universe. Why did I say Stratos? Stratos. Stratos. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I just found these today. Uh, I was kind of shocked to see them on the pegs, and I almost missed them because Ray was the one in the front. And I walked by, I saw the packaging, and I was like, oh, they've got Ray. That's a little weird. And then I realized, whoa, wait a minute. That's a completely different Ray. And uh, then I saw China and Stone Cold behind him, and I had forgotten that one of the figures got cut. So. I like looked and had to remember, oh, that's right. This is, there are only three because I, th I thought one of them had maybe sold already. So the jet pack, you can see it's got a little belt back here with a notch in it to line it up. And then you just, this might be a little difficult to do here while I'm filming. Yeah, that peg, sometimes this soft plastic, it's a little hard to get the pegs 
to connect the way that they're supposed to. So we'll do, you see how that works. When I'm not filming and can sit there and fiddle with it, I'll put it on. Uh, unfortunately, this ray comes with the tiny wings. But they, they don't look quite as bad on this one as they did on the other one for some reason. Or Wait, okay, so now that I'm thinking about it, I think Stratos in the Origins line. Yeah, because Ray came with big wings. Stratos came with these little tiny wings. And I switched them out so that... I'm not sure which way those are supposed to go. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, but I switched mine out. So that my origin Stratos has the larger wings and Ray's got the little tiny wings. Because, I mean, it's more important to me that Stratos look right. That doesn't look right either, does it? I don't know. Either way, it looks fine. So here you go. Uh, Ray looks great. The deco, really nicely detailed for this style of figure. Uh, he's awesome. They did a nice job with this Ray update. And, I mean, look, Ray Mysterio is always going to sell. There's no reason not to make a Ray Mysterio figure. Uh, China. Ninth Wonder of WWE Turnia includes oh includes collector's sheet yeah okay uh, don't treat her like a woman don't treat her like a man because this princess of power traveled from WWE Theria to WWE Turnia to be the last superstar standing look at that cool decal I guess that's the Snake Mountain ring which I never got because I felt like it was a little pricey uh, battle axe of beautification. And, of course, the posing, the cross-sell, you know it all by now. So let's try to carefully take this off so we don't ruin the collector's sheet. Okay, Mattel. Uh, we've got a little biography there. We've got Taker, Macho Man. Like I said, this line has ended up being a lot of fun to collect. Uh, I love that I've got it on the shelf. And I think... Since it's done and it's taking up, like, the amount of space it's taking up, it's not going to get boxed up or anything to make room for something else. Like, it fits perfectly where I have it. So I'm not going to have to make any adjustments or anything. She looks great, I think. Let's see if this is, uh... That's removable. So you've got a nice little China likeness right there. I think she looks great. I love that smile. Uh, she's in her sort of traditional purple colors from her singles run. I've uh, got the elbow pads, no knee pads, which, you know, who knows if that's accurate or not. I sure don't. Uh, and then you can just see all the detail on her there. I feel like there should be one more little, maybe not. I don't know, because you know, no, there are three down here and then there are three up here. So that's, yeah, that's good. That looks good. Uh, this is, I believe, a different female buck. Well, wait a minute. We can just take a look right here. It is different from Becky, obviously. And, let's see. Uh, also different from Stephanie. So, yeah, I believe this China is a completely new uh, torso here. But it looks great. It looks like China. I think they did a wonderful job. The crown works really nicely. Uh, it's, it's secure on there. It's not going to just fall off. And of course, she's got the same interchangeable parts. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Now, let's take a look and see what she comes with. The Axe of Beautification, obviously. So, just our little traditional Princess of Power comb axe. That may or may not fit. There we go. That's fine. It's not the best, but it's fine. Uh, and then she's got a cape. You can see the painted detail on the collar right there. So for that, I'm going to pop that head off. Put that right over the neck. And let's get that right back on. And I'm glad they made China a hero as well. And she looks awesome. This is a great look. I lo Look, it's China and She-Ra. Like, how awesome is that? That's great. What, what a wonderful figure. I'm glad she made it into the line. I'm glad they decided 
that this was a character they wanted to get in here. Uh, this is fantastic. This is one of my favorite figures from the line, I think. She looks great. All right, and finally, the main event. The bionic, not redneck, because you probably don't want to put that on toy packaging. The bionic rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a great idea for Austin to basically make him trap jaw. I love it. Trapjaw is my favorite uh, Masters of the Universe character. So Austin is Trapjaw. Just hits all kind of the right buttons for me. Um, you can try to stump a mud hole in the rattlesnake, but Stone Cold will just come back to open a bionic can on the WWE Tourney of Superstars. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Put on bionic jaw. This is so great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss seeing what they come up with for this line because that's part of the fun is seeing like who they're going to adapt who they're going to you know who they're going to combine with who to get these figures that's really it's really been a fun ride and then there's there's your collector sheet and let's get austin out of there and check him out I love, and again, this is part of the fun, is that now we've got silver weapons that we can use with Roboto and Trapjaw. Uh, the silver weapons, uh, the, they're silver Trapjaw weapons that you can put on Roboto for Origins now if you want to, and I think that's great. All right, let's see how difficult this bag is going to be. It's a little harder to get these open when there's not much in there because they roll them up so tight. Mattel, unnecessary. Come on. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I don't have my scissors here because I wasn't thinking there would be anything that would necessitate the use of scissors, despite the fact that I've opened these before and I know how annoying these poly bags are. Oh wow, is it just the one other thing? Oh, that's kind of lame. Come on, Mattel. So we get... The claw, and we get the hook. Just two attachments. That's pretty weak. Come on, you guys. Uh, so, the arm looks great. Uh, and again, it is removable. So if you want to give Trapjaw a silver arm, you can do that. He's got the big Trapjaw belt in silver. Uh, we've got the red... Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, so he's got the red stone cold vest with the 316 on it. Bionic, obviously... He's got the trap jaw legs, but then look down here. He's got his tattoo. How wild is that? I love it. That would have been such an easy thing to just leave off, and they got it on there. I think that's wonderful. Great job on that. Uh, this is a great-looking Austin. I love it. He can crush bionic cans. Excuse me, not beer cans. Bionic cans right there. And we can just swap out for that hook very easily. And let's see, I don't know if those are going to, yeah, those aren't going to fit under his vest, but I, I don't care. I'll, I'll figure out somewhere else for this to hang out. I don't know what I like more, the hook or the claw. I kind of like the hook. Uh, and then his jaw piece is removable. So you've got that stone cold likeness with the red eyes. Again, a, a brilliant concept, a perfect mashup. For the bionic redneck and trap jaw. Uh, he's great. He's awesome. This is... Let's get these flakes off the table. Uh, you know, I gotta say, China and Stone Cold are really strong ways to wrap things up here. Uh, this Ray repaint, which by the way, why does Ray look like he's bigger than Stone Cold? Uh, this Ray repaint is maybe not the most exciting thing that they put out, but again, it's a Rey Mysterio. It's a different, eye-catching, well-done Rey Mysterio. Uh, I think it's probably one of those best-you-can-do situations, but Austin and China, really, really strong finishers for this line. So, great stuff. If you find them in Walmart, go ahead and grab them, pick them up. You'll probably be able to move them because these haven't been the easiest figures to find in the best of times. And these last waves, oftentimes, you see them once, and that's it. I found these three. It looks like a case is these three with two Austins. Uh, and a buddy of mine's getting the Austin. Uh, well, and this Mysterio. So, 
you know, if you see them, grab them. You should be able to flip them if you're inclined to do that sort of thing, or maybe you'll have some trade bait. But whatever the case, that's the bottom line, because needless things said so. Like, subscribe, share. Smash that like button if you like needless things. <laughs>